This method drawing trading zones will save you thousands of dollars and hopefully make you thousands of dollars. And keep in mind, quantity of doing so is beating anxiety of doing things wrong because you will see how the market will react by starting to draw trading zones how I'm showing to you in this video. So first of all, you have your uh, contraction phase in the US session, I'm, I've put here, as you see here, and we're going to put here now, um, we're going to put here New York time. So it's going to be 9.30 a.m. is going to be the open. 10 a.m. is where the U.S. session is starting here where my mouse is. And then exactly here where the U.S. session is starting here around. Then we have here a contraction phase. Some people draw it inside with the highest and the lowest point. But I'm showing you a method that will really help you that is to draw it so small as possible, not so tiny, not too tiny, but from the left side of the contraction phase, you want to look how to draw the contraction phase. Like for example, from here to there on the very left side where the contraction phase is starting is absolutely cool. And then on the lower part, and then so that most candles are even confirming. That means you can see how the market was going out in out in and check this out on the bottom side out in out in out in out in and here also in out and out in and the thing is if you don't like drawing it like that you can also take something in the middle like here what i also like and then you can see even how here it confirms more nicer so i would choose this one traders do it different and it's how you prefer it with building a relationship always to the market if you can see with your experience that for example here's the u.s session and on the US session time, this is very important. The market will aim for bigger structure highs and lows. I'm going to show you how you can use it also with the trading zones. It's just that you understand with the direction. You have here the biggest structure high and we have here the biggest structure low. And if the market is more near at one reference and you can see that it makes more sense, it's like weight on the left side and weight on the right side while you can see there's imbalance. If you can see how it's more going down than up here, then then of course, and this is very important, then first you use a trading strategy, whatever strategy you use to trade in that direction, what I think is very important instead of by having any indicator or any book read, what is telling you you should buy here because it is about to prioritize your experience with the market than the trading strategy with just a, a weird line. So the thing is now, if you can see that the market goes down here, and this is something that's very important. If you can see that the market did a contraction phase, you can see it from this left side here, by the way, to the right side. I just was here where my anchor points here and there, and you can see it, how I was drawing it to the left. What is very often happening is that the market goes pushing away and then comes back. It doesn't matter in this case, also if the market was going up, that it's going up in this case, it does it a lot of times. And you can use this like that for your trading to say like, this is the contraction phase and the market is very often touching the contraction phase. If you are unsure about, for example, here, if you would trade up here, this movement, then it is also to draw in a bit of the contraction phase also bigger. Like you can see it from here to maybe like here, where you can see here a lot of stuff with the contraction phase and here the lowest point here from here to there that you can see still how the market was pushing out here and getting in. I would not consider drawing in the contraction phase like this, like from the highest point to the lowest point, at least one point more inside. So this is the most outside point. More, one point inside is here, for example, from the most outside point, one side inside is here, for example, or you take it from the US session, sorry, the US session first from here to there, for example. So we have drawn a trading zone first with the US session outside. Like this is how, how to do it too. And then it's always to look what the market does. And an exercise is that you take a program, like a screenshot program, like Lightshot, it's called. Like um, Lightshot is a, is a really, really good program to take screenshot. I'm going to show this to you. You can use it on Apple. You can use it on, uh, on Windows here, Lightshot it's called. And when you download this and you get Evernote, Evernote it's called. When you go to these two pages, this is a trading journal. And every time you look at the market at first, it's about to draw in a trading zone to look how the market looks. Make sure you make the charts as so small as possible. And then when you're finished trading, then make again a picture and look if the market was going to this contraction phase or where you're even seeing on the left side, check this out. You have here also contraction phases here inside, especially if the market is very strongly doing a lot of green candles, it will very often not reach these bigger structure lows. It will go for these contraction phases. As you see, for example, here is a very good example. It, it doesn't reach the lows here. 
it may reach here a smaller low what i really love to draw in and not the contraction phase but if the market is just pushing too much up it will not reach this low here as you see here and just get in the contraction phase and this is a very big reason why it's important for me not to sell inside it's more like to see what makes sense and what direction the bigger movement goes like where is the 500 or 1000 dollar movement and then how can i use 100 dollars of my money to get the 500 dollars or maybe 300 dollars only of that movement hope you can take something out of this wish you all love good trades jt out